my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a first impressions on the Faces Alzheimer Pro eyeshadow palette in the shade Nude. As I told you all in my previous haul, I had actually ordered this palette but it hadn't gotten to me. So I thought, you know, I got this in my mail yesterday and I was going to play around with this palette and I thought why not sit in front of the camera and show you my reaction to this palette. So this is the first time I have used this palette and let me tell you, I'm so amazed by it. I thought this is not going to be that good because the rose palette was not you know it did not impress me that much so it was not that pigmented but this eyeshadow palette has a different formula altogether and the shades on this palette are totally up my alley nudes you all can do so many looks with this palette like a smoky eye a normal natural everyday look something like a halo eye that i have done right now yeah in case you all want to see how i achieve this look and my thoughts on this palette, please keep watching. So I've just got y'all closer and I'm already drying my eyes with a little bit of concealer. So now we're just gonna move on to our eyes first and the star of the show is this Faces Ultime Pro palette in the shade Nude. This is what it looks like. It is just a beautiful palette and I hope there's someone hogging outside so just ignore that so yeah this is such a beautiful palette this is just a palette which i adore which has neutral shades and you you can do so many looks with this and i'm hoping fingers crossed that this is a little bit more pigmented than the rose one so i think i'm gonna go for a halo eye where i am gonna be using this shade as my center eyelid shade first let's start off with Oh, matte transforming shade. I need to wash my brushes guys. They are so very dirty. I'm a very lazy bum when it comes to washing brushes. It's like such a boring job but it's a necessity. For my transition shade I'm using this shade right here. This is like a cool tone light brown shade. I'm not really sure how well it is going to show up on my skin tone. Let's try it out. Hmm, so it's a perfect transition shade. I do not know whether this will work out for skin tones which are darker than me. But for me, it's fine. And for skin tones which are lighter than me, will definitely allow this eyeshadow as a transition color. Once that is done, I'm going to take this brown shade right here and apply it directly in my crease region. Oh my god, this color is so pretty. It's such a beautiful brown shade. The fact that these shades blend out so easily is the most important and the best part about this palette but like i said they are not that pigmented even this eyeshadow is not that pigmented but you can build it up so i don't have a problem with that and then i'm also gonna apply this at my outer corners and my inner corner as well and i'm gonna leave the center region blank so now I just want to darken up my outer corners a little bit more for that I'm going to be using this shade right here now this is not completely matte it is somewhat of a satin finish so let's see how that works so like I said it definitely has a little bit of sheen on it but it's not that bad of a color And then for my center of my eyelids, I'm going to be using this shade right here. This is such a beautiful goldeny beigey color. So that is going to make my eyes pop. And I think I'm going to use my finger for it because I feel that will give me maximum amount of pigmentation. So as I said, this palette has all the shimmery shades so very pigmented. Like I said, I just wish that the matte shades were as pigmented as the shimmery shades and then with my blending brush i'm just gonna 
blend it out and make it a smooth transition. Now just let's finish off our eyes. I'm just gonna make it a little bit smoky. So I'm gonna start off with the this shade right here that we used in our crease and apply this very very close to our lower lash line. And you want to make sure that you're joining the edges right here at the corners. So I'm just going to build that color up and blend it out. And just to complete the look, I'm just using my plum casual and lining my upper and lower lash line. And then just to make my highlighter pop, I'm going to be using this shade which we used on our eyelids as my highlighter. And I'm also using the same shade to highlight my inner corners. So now comes the last part that is our lips. For lips today, I'm using my next soft matte lip cream in the shade Gans. This is such a beautiful, perfect, nude pink color. Absolutely love this. And the formula on the next soft matte lip creams are one of the best and very comfortable formulas out there in the market. So this is the final result. I absolutely love how this makeup look turned out to be and I am a little surprised I must say by this palette. The new one is actually very 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 beautiful and the shades on this palette are absolutely stunning and they are way more pigmented than the rose collection. This palette is going to be very very good for beginners. It's very very easy to use so beginners if you all are looking for a good eyeshadow palette you all should totally go for this one and it is very inexpensive for 7.99 rupees i got this on an all for 7.99 you get 10 shades otherwise it's of 9.99 so one shade is 100 bucks i think i will give that palette around 7 out of 10 7 being because there are some shades which i feel are necessary like a matte white shade which is not in this and the black shade in this is not completely matte it has a little bit of shimmer i do not have a problem with that but a matte shade is preferred by me otherwise this palette is absolutely beautiful and the shimmery shades are stunning the best shade among all the shades in this palette is the shade right here which i have used on my eyelids as my highlighter as you all can see it's such a beautiful color so yeah i am actually very very impressed by this palette so yeah that were my final thoughts so this is the look i hope you guys like it and if you all have any other suggestions or regarding makeup whatever reviews you all want on what reviews you all want let me know in the bottom box below i will very very happy to do it for you all so yeah that's it for this video and i'll see you all in my next one bye